Hey guys, we're back with another video, and this time we're playing some more Final Fantasy VII, and we are here by Nibelheim, or Nibelheim, <laughs> and we're going to see if we can do the Nibelheim scene, and if we can't, then we're going to do a uh, Cosmo Canyon. We're going to go there. So, what I'm talking about is the scene with Zack. If you haven't seen it already, then... This will explain a lot of things, <laughs> but yeah, um, maybe we can do it at this point. If not, then we can just come back later and then do all the main story things at Cosmo Canyon. <laughs> and then we're going to do the huge materia thing at Cosmo Canyon as well. So yeah. Oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, let me try regular attacks on him and see how how well it does. I think it's called Yin Yan or something. I don't think it was exactly Yin Yang <laughs> or Ying Yang. Oh, maybe it was Ying and Yang. I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to do that because why not? Okay, so here is what I was trying to do. Okay, so you can do it at this point. Nice. So they're both in, uh, what do you call those? <laughs> Glass containers. Hey, this is your food. Of, what do you call it? Mako... Something with Genova cells in there. I don't know. <laughs> So that is Zack and Cloud. <laughs> so you can tell Zack has more energy here for some reason. I don't know. And yeah, he has to carry Cloud around. Yeah, actually, maybe Cloud got more messed up from that experiment. Oh, here. Because that is Hoja's experiment. Put this on. It smells a little, but don't complain. You look pretty good with that. Well. So they get a random person to drive them. <laughs> Yo, old guy, are we at Midgar yet? Shut up! You're lucky I even gave you a ride. Yeah, the remake's totally different though. It's like he survives or something. What are you gonna do once we get to Midgar? <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah, it's like Zack is alive in the remake. I don't know. I know what I'm gonna do. Oh, wait, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I got a place I can crash for a while. No, wait, the mother lives there, too. Guess that's out. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Yep, gotta change my plans. Hmm. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Hey, wanna start a business? Now what could we do? Hey, Cloud. Think there's anything I'd be good at? Hey, old guy. What do you think I'd be good at? What are you yapping about? You're still young, ain't you? Young folks should try everything. You gotta pay your dues while you're young. Go out and look for what you really want. Try everything. That's easy for him to say. 
Yep, he likes doing squats. Do some more squats. So I guess he's figuring out what to do. Hey! Of course. I got more brains and skill than most other guys. That settles it. I'm gonna be a mercenary. Become a mercenary. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pops. Hey, didn't you even hear a word I said? Listen, I'm gonna become a mercenary, and that's that. Boring stuff, dangerous stuff, anything for money. I'm gonna be rich. So, Cloud, what are you gonna do? No, wait, you got it all wrong. Uh, uh. Yeah, so it sounds like he wants to join, like, Avalanche or something. Even though I don't think he knows Avalanche at this point. I don't know. Just kidding, I won't leave you hanging like that. Yeah, he's trying to figure out what to do because he's pretty much abandoning Shinra. Both of them. <laughs> We're friends, right? Well, soldier, I mean. Mercenaries, Cloud. That's what you and me are going to be. Understand, Cloud? So, I guess that's why Cloud has, like, a passion for joining Avalanche after these scenes because of Zack. And the whole mercenary thing. Yeah, so <laughs> Shinra tracks them down or the rest of Soldier, I don't know. Or just the troops, I don't know. And then he dies in this version <laughs> of the game. What do you want to do with it? Well, I mean, I don't know. The remake was kind of confusing because at the end it looked like he survived or something. But Well, yeah, in this game, Zack is dead now. Ah, uh, ugh. Oh, and heirs. <laughs> and a lot of other people. <laughs> Forget it, just leave him. And it starts raining. Yeah, they probably thought Cloud was like... Passed out or like about to die anyway or something. Or... <laughs> like he uh got messed up from the experiment but he is very well alive and that's how he gets the buster sword I don't think he ever owned one of his own before that so and we get a shot of Midgar yeah the whole raining thing looks pretty cool here actually Alright, so that's the whole Cloud and Zack scene. Oh yeah, can you actually... Oh, I think I read this before, actually, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think I read those before, so... Let me just see if there's anything... Over here, I think it's pretty much just the same stuff. Yeah, we've read all of these before, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yep, okay, now let's just go to Cosmo Canyon. Yeah, I think that enemy's name here is Ying, and then the other half of him is Yang. Yeah, it's funny it still plays like the <laughs> the Sephiroth music, but but um what do you call it? He's not there at all. Just to put you in that vibe <laughs> when you're in the the Shimmer Mansion. It's kinda like the uh, the North Crater with the whole spiral thing. <laughs> Okay, so done with that. Now let's go to Cosmo Canyon. Talk to the dog first. <laughs> okay, so that should be uh, down here, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's park here. And then. Go up here.
Yep. Wait, have we seen this enemy here before? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we still have to do all those chocobo things. <laughs> Get a gold chocobo and then ruby weapon, emerald weapon, all that stuff. <laughs> Oh, it's you. This is terrible. The color of that unlucky star. The children are all so scared that they won't even go outside. I'd rather not see it either. Okay, so... I'm gonna go here. <laughs> we haven't been here in a while, so... If you forget, then... It might be a little confusing. Wait, actually, no, this is just the view of Cosmic King. This is where we go. We have to go to the big telescope place. <laughs> Does it say what this is called? Oh, Bugen Research Center. Okay. <laughs> Observatory, I don't know. Is he up here? No. Okay. There you are. Ho ho ho, if you are <laughs> if you ever are in need of my wisdom, you are always welcome here. Yeah, that's why we came. What to do? Have you lost your way? When that happens, we each have to take a good long look at ourselves. There's always something in the deepest reaches of our hearts. Something buried or something forgotten. Remember it, whatever that is, must certainly be what you are all looking for. That's easy enough to say, but I can't remember a thing. Must be there, look harder. This ain't no good with just us, Cloud, we gotta get some others in here. I was thinking, wait, do we have to bring Red 13? But no, I think this is just part of the whole... <laughs> The whole scene here. Do you see it? What is it that you are searching for? And everyone's here. Nope, not a thing. No, nah, can't come up with a thing. Me either. I don't get any of this. Everyone's here, like Smash Ultimate. <laughs> I remember Eris a lot. No, not that. You haven't remembered. You haven't forgotten. That's not it. How would you say Eris was right there all along, right by our side? She was so close we couldn't see her. What Eris did, the words she left behind, that reminds me, I was the same. As was I. Me too. She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth's meteor. But Eris is gone. Is it impossible for us to carry on what Eris <laughs> tried to accomplish? We ain't no ancients, if that's what you mean. What, did that girl go off to that place? That's it. What's it? We don't know about it. What did Eris know? Why did she face Sephiroth without running away? I see, she returned there once again, correct? Hmm, perhaps I'll have you take me there. You're going too? What's so surprising about that? Even I like to get out from time to time and see the outside world. I wonder what did it. I haven't felt like this in ages. <laughs> It must be the planet. The planet is calling you. Yeah, who boy, the planet calling. All right. <laughs> he just leaves. Ho, 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 then let's go. Yep. So. Oh, yeah, Bugenhagen. I have one more thing I want to ask you. We're carrying around huge materia. This is pretty delicate stuff, and we would like to keep it in a safe place. Ho, 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 and then we'll put it upstairs now. Shall we be on our way? Okay, so it just does it for you automatically. <laughs> I'll teach you how to work the machine. Watch carefully now. You just pull here. Yep, dim the lights. It looks all cool up here. Ho, ho, ho. Is this what you call huge materia? This is really rare materia indeed. Materia this rare is certain to have a special consciousness enclosed in it. Okay, so... Make sure you got... Oh, wait. I think it did it for us. Okay. <laughs> There's four huge materia. Uh, what is it called? One from coral, one from... 
uh, four condor, one from uh, one from the wait coral fort condor, one from the rocket rocket town, and then one from uh, underwater reactor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Huge materia, it is glowing strangely. Get closer. The huge materia emitted a fiery glow. The color is the same as summon materia. So that means you have to bring every single summon summon materia uh, at max level, I think. And then you'll get master summon materia. Huge materia, it is glowing strangely. Get closer. The huge materia emitted a gentle glow. The color is the same as magic materia. And yeah, same with this one, bring all leveled uh, magic materia, and then you get master magic materia, it means it has every magic in the game <laughs> in one materia. Same with the summon, every summon in the game in one materia. And then this one, huge materia, it is glowing strangely, get closer. Huge materia made it a quiet glow, the color is the same as command materia, so this is for master command materia, just bring all leveled uh, command materia here, and then you get master command materia. So this one though, huge materia, it, it is glowing strangely. Get closer, the huge materia emitted a cold glow. Is that Bahamut? Bahamut, Neo Bahamut, materia glows brightly. Oh, I think you need to b bring those two materials as well. <laughs> Bahamut and Neo Bahamut and the four huge material. Oh wait, actually, Bahamut Zero, yes. Actually, maybe the huge material is just for these four. These four here, but then Bahamut and then Neo Bahamut, you bring both of those here and then you just get Bahamut Zero. I think that's how that works. Okay, we're done here. Ho ho ho, good, now let's leave. Do you remember how to use the machine down below? If you if you ever want to see materia, come here anytime. Hmm <laughs> Smells like machinery. I love this smell. Of course, I also love the smell of nature too. Hmm, the deck's up there. Then I'll be on the deck just passing the time. I can feel the workings of the planet and the smell of the wind. I also feel the greatness of man's wisdom and the knowledge and the smell of machinery. Well, bye for now. Yep, he can fly everywhere. <laughs> I wonder how high he can fly, though. So, yep, we tried Hades, so now we can use Bahamut Zero. Let's try that out in the next battle or something. Just arrange those materials. Okay. Right, wait, are we fully healed or something? I don't know. We could just do it anyway, I guess. Wait, actually, no, we'll do it at the end of the, <laughs> the end of the episode, I guess, because we don't really need to. Uh, I don't know. You can <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Okay, we're ready to go now. Wait, are we even fighting any battles? I don't know. Oh, he's level 11. Okay, then let's go. Alright, so what he was talking about is... Uh, the place on the northern continent. Wait, is it northern continent? Yeah, so we're trying to go here. Oops. <laughs> To the forgotten capital. Oh, uh, was it to the left or to the right? I think it was the left. So this is where Eris was doing her thing with the holy materia, but we weren't sure what was going on, so this is where we're supposed to go. This is Yes, exactly. Are you getting something? Give me a moment. Oops. Just go 
go here. Over here and out here. And yes, this place over here. The knowledge of the ancients swirling around here is telling me one thing. The planet's in a crisis. A crisis beyond human power or endless time. It says when the time comes, we must search for holy. Holy? Holy, the ultimate white magic. Magic that might stand against Meteor. Perhaps our last hope to save the planet from Meteor. If a soul-seeking holy reaches the planet, it will appear. Ho ho ho. Meteor, weapon, everything will disappear. Perhaps even ourselves. Even us? It is up to the planet to decide. What is best for the planet, what is bad for the planet. All that is bad will disappear, that is all. Ho ho ho. I wonder which we humans are. <laughs> Search for holy? How do we do it? Speak to the planet. Get the white materia. This will bond the planet to humans. Then speak to the planet. If our wish reaches the planet, the white materia will begin to glow a pale green. This is the end. Eris had the white materia. But when Eris died, it fell from the altar. Yeah, that was the holy materia. Oops. <laughs> it said something. This is the end. This is... I don't know. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Look at this. Hmm? Yes, this thing right here will explain everything. Ancients writing. Can you read it? It's all Greek to me. <laughs> oh wait, no, not yet. Never mind. This is no time for jokes. I'm not an ancient. I can't read this thing. I may be old, but my eyes aren't completely bad yet. Look closely below the writing. There's something written in chalk. Even sunlight can't reach. Key. It was probably written by a scientist who had been here. He must have used all his energy just to interpret these words. Key to what? I don't know, but it probably has something to do with our riddle. The riddle. Then it must have something to do with Eris. So this note points to where the key is? Probably. Use these words as clues and go find the key. I'll continue to figure out the ancient's writing. A place even sunlight won't reach is where the key is, right? When you find the key or when you can't go any further, come back here. Maybe I'll understand more from the writing and get some new information for you. Yep, so... Can't see what it was trying to show yet. So wait, actually... Let me see what he says if you go back to him. <laughs> Remember, a place even sunlight can't reach is where the key is. Yep, okay. <laughs> so, remember the submarine that we got recently? <laughs> yeah, that's what we have to use. Because that is where sunlight can't reach under the water. Under rocks. Giant rocks. <laughs> and the whole landscape underneath the sea. So, yeah, it's might be confusing if you just go based off of <laughs> what they tell you, but that's what it means. And it was a feature given to us recently, so it makes sense to search using the submarine anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. What we want to do is, wait, where is Emerald Weapon? It's over here. Yep, okay. So, you want to go north. Over here. Yeah, the whole pale green thing will, <laughs> it'll be explained once we get this key. to the right okay so we go here over there is 
where we did the, the Vincent thing, but this way to the right leads to this over here. Oh, what is that? Oh, can I get a view of it? <laughs> oh, there you go. Looks pretty cool. <laughs> Looks huge compared to the suburb. <laughs> Do you think it's analysis completed? Exact date of origin undetermined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Key of the Ancients. Receive key item, key to the, key to the Ancients. <laughs> yep, okay. Exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> And we're done with, um, oh no, Emerald Weapon. <laughs> I think we're done with everything underwater except for Emerald Weapon. Or actually there might be some more things. But yeah, we're pretty much done with all of that except emerald weapon yep well and ruby weapon which is i don't know if he's on the map yet but yeah we're gonna do that later anyway <laughs> all right so now we go back to the forgotten capital oops okay Oh wait, is it in the inventory over here and it says something cool? Let me see. Keystone. Oh wait, no. That's... <laughs> key to Ancients. An old key found in the ocean. Yep. So we just go back where we came from. Oh wait, actually... Let me talk to him first, because I think we have to go around the other way. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me if you hear any noises, any bird noises, any stomach noises, any burp noises. <laughs> Excuse me if you hear any of that. <laughs> okay. Let me talk to you first. Oh, you found it. Okay, I think maybe we do have to talk to him first. That music box over there, we'll put the key in it. I'll go use the key, you all wait here. Okay, he does it for us, never mind. And watch closely what happens. Because he can fly. <laughs> we don't have to go all the way around, so that's cool. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Yeah, so that's where you insert the key. It's like a wind chime, like it turns around and it hits those like crystal spike things. <laughs> Then it activates that. And a waterfall. <sighs> Excuse me. Now go inside. Hope may be inside or. <laughs> Oops. Just move forward there, and then this was this. <laughs> this was just a screen to pro to project an image. <laughs> look, look at the image projected on the screen of the water. So this explains what Eris did. It looks like it like falls out of her hair or something. I don't know. Look at the color. It's pale green. And it's still pale green. It's glowing. Ho ho ho, it's pale green. Eris, Eris has already prayed for Holy. After I gave up the black materia to Sephiroth, Eris's words came into my dreams. 
She said she was the only one who could stop Sephiroth, and to do that, there was a secret here. That was holy, that's why she had the white materia. Eris knew about here and what she had to do. Eris has left us great hope, but it cost her life, her future. I'm sorry, Eris. I should have figured this out sooner. You left without saying a word. It was all so sudden I couldn't think. That's why it took so long for me to find out, but Eris, I understand now. Eris, I'll do the rest. That's we. The flower girl gave us a big chance. It'd be sad if we didn't finish it. Yes. Thank you, Eris. Eris's voice has already reached the planet. Just look at the glow of the white material. But how about Holy? How come Holy isn't moving? Why? Something's getting in its way. Him. He's the only one that could do it. Sephiroth, where are you? Well, actually, I was thinking it's not working yet, Holy, because, like, Meteor didn't reach the planet yet, and that's why it, <laughs> it waits until then. Sephiroth, where are you? Okay, I read that already, I think. Wait, what do you have to say? Can I talk to you? No? Okay. <laughs> are you still here? Oh, no, you're not. Okay. Yeah, I think the waterfall just stays like this forever now, or something. I don't know. Yeah, so the pale green glow means Holy will save people from meteor without killing humanity and all the animals and uh, inhabitants and stuff. <laughs> what the? Whisper, whisper. Sorry, I was a little surprised. What happened? You remember when the Junon cannon disappeared? Actually, Rufus moved it. Moved it, that big thing. Where? Why? Wait, so yeah, Eris did... Just explain it more here. <laughs> Eris did her thing to make the holy materia pale green so it's cool that she did it because like what if she forgot to do it and then it was still white or like she couldn't do it at the time like if sephiroth killed her before then then it would have been like oh no <laughs> moved it that big thing where why okay i read that already i think <laughs> things are happening again okay rufus wants to destroy sephiroth with it that cannon operates on huge materia, but the huge materia has already been used in the rocket plant. So since the cannon, the, can <laughs> the cannon's useless right now, he decided to move it to a place where a materia, no, where Mako is gathered. And where is that? It's crazy how fast they did that. Because <laughs> the sister ray is now in Midgar. <laughs> A bunch of helicopters flying. <laughs> Reeve, it's your job to adjust the reactor's output. I see. Kah ha ha, don't worry about adjusting it, Reeve. Once you open it all the way, everything will go full speed. Kah ha ha ha, the president's sure done it this time. The whole idea that Meteor would disappear if we defeat Sephiroth is all wrong. If you remember, Mr. President, it was my idea to fire Mako powered shells. Will the shells really reach the northern border? Ha ha ha. Of course. But Mr. President, let's not call it a Mako Cannon. This new weapon is called... The Sister Ray. Oh, okay, I guess they give it the new name now. <laughs> so... I guess it was just called the Junon Cannon before? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, does it stay with the waterfall forever now? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Alright, so we're done with this area. Looks like, looks like you can go, like, up here. Like. <laughs> I 
All right. Just making our way back to the high wind. Oh wait, is this where we... Hmm? Oh, okay. Well, what the... Yep, this is where we... You'll see. <laughs> This is where we fight Diamond Weapon. <laughs> he moves kind of slow. Those shoulders, though, are like... Are those like his shoulders or like shoulder armor looking things? I don't know. What's wrong? It's a strange signal. From where? It's coming from this person. Wow. Hey. That was a surprise. The controls went crazy. This ain't good. Weapon came out of the sea and is heading straight for Midgar. The new weapon should stop him, right? I don't know if it's ready or not. Hey, what's gonna happen to Marlene? Don't you worry none. Marlene's in a safe place. She's with Eris's mama. Barrett. What was that scratching just now? As long as Marlene is safe, who cares what else happens, right? I've been itching to say this to you for a while now. When you blew up the Sector 1 reactor, how many do you think died? That was for the life of the planet. You gotta expect a few casualties. Few? What do you mean a few? What may be a few to you is everything to those who died. Protect the planet. Ha, huh, that sure sounds good. And no one will go against you, so you think you can do whatever you want, right? Don't want to hear that from no one in Shinra. Can't do anything about that. Stop it. Kate says the bear, he knows what he did. What we did in Midgar can't be forgotten, no matter what the reason. Actually, I think Reeve doesn't know about the whole, like, Shinra, like, helping the whole, uh, first reactor explosion and stuff. <laughs> well, they showed it in the remake, but okay. <laughs> Alright, we haven't forgotten, right? I know you. You can't quit the company because you're worried about the people in Midgar, right? Cloud. Okay, let's go. We'll beat Weapon ourselves. Hey, Cloud. You think we can win against that monster? We got a chance of winning, right? How would I know? But that's no reason for us to just let him go. We're going to Midgar and fight Weapon. Come on, let's move. Yep, so... Oh, there he is. Wait, <laughs> what happens if you... <laughs> hey, hey, what are you trying to do? Break the high one? Let's fight on the ground. <laughs> yeah, so that's what happens if you run into him. So he comes all the way over here, so... Let's just wait for him. There you go. Get a nice view. Wait, actually, do we need to repair anything? Actually, I think we should be good. <laughs> I think we're strong enough at this point. So, yeah. You know what? Move the high wind over just a little bit. Like, oops. Oops. <laughs> like here. Because I think he goes over here. So we'll just wait. Like, right here. <laughs> Yep, that's all you gotta do, just wait for him. Oh yeah, you can see the whole Midgar view with the, the sister right now. Alright, he's almost here. <laughs> and you can get battles here too.
guys. <laughs> yeah, if you accidentally get into these battles, kill these guys first, the bandits. Because you do not want to lose any items. Unless it's like a potion or something. <laughs> Okay, we're fully healed. Yep. <laughs> his chest is like red. It's like... Is that his heart? His mouth is like red too. Okay, he's almost there. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke coming out of him. Like, <laughs> like he's a vehicle or something. Okay. Actually, I forgot what happens if you don't fight him and you just let him keep walking. I don't know. Okay, let's just do it. Alright, so you just run into him and this is Diamond Weapon. Alright, so let's use. Oh wait, actually, Big Guard. <laughs> let's use. Uh, oh, you don't have sense? Okay. Use sense with you, and then we'll steal, see if he has any items. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's getting healed. Couldn't sense. Oh, okay. Um, can I steal anything? Actually, I don't think he has any items to steal, but we can try. Oh, he does have an item? Wait. Let me see here. Okay, we're gonna keep stealing right now. <laughs> Sid has the ribbon, but... I don't know if it's that that's causing him to get healed. I don't know. <laughs> when he walks, it's not... Oh, Rising Sun. Okay, we'll see what that is after the battle. <laughs> when he walks, it sounds like... Sounds like little explosions happening. Oh, actually, I might need to use magic to attack him because it looks like regular attacks are not doing anything. Oh, let's try Anger Max. Oh, wait, we didn't try Bahamut Zero. What am I doing? Uh, oh, wait, it's on bears. <laughs> okay, let's. Oh, we have Cure 3 now. Let's try that out. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, just, we can just try it once, even though we don't really need it, but. Okay, there it can I use, okay. Bahamut Zero, 180 MP, it's like all the way near the bottom. Let's use Hyper Jump, I guess. Terra Flare. Get to see the planet and space and some galaxy over there. I don't know. And it's like the moon or something. Excuse me. Yeah, Bahamut Zero looks really cool. <laughs> Gains all the energy and then he. He goes blast. <laughs> With a sparkle. And... Pretty decent damage. <laughs> Almost 7,000. 6,000, 7,000 ish. Nice. Forgot what countdown does. <laughs> oh, maybe he's about to attack something really strong. Uh, let's try trying. Just keep using magic attacks. Oh wait, do we need a uh, uh, big guard again? Oh yeah, maybe it isn't the ribbon. Yeah, it has to be something else. I forgot what I have on 
episode. <laughs> okay, there you go, big bad, and then just keep using Aqua One. <laughs> oh, let's let's heal with Sid since Bear is getting attacked. Yeah, Cure 2 should do pretty well for now. Oh, well, we have Big Guard on, so it's gonna affect that too, so... And whatever. Okay, Aqua 1. Diamond Flash, okay. Uh... Oh my... Gosh. Uh... <laughs> that was pretty strong. <laughs> Meteor Rain, will this kill him? Yes, it does. Okay. I was thinking we needed to heal, but nope, we're done. 25,000 gil, nice. And there you go, we defeated Diamond Weapon. Big Guard is very helpful for everything in this game. <laughs> every battle, every boss battle. Aqualung is still good. Prime, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Monster? What are you looking at? No, it's feeling something. Yeah, it senses murder. To my ship. Yeah, you can run during this cutscene. Pretty cool. Oh no, let's hurry out of here. Something big, I'm talking really big's coming. Yeah, ha ha, Mr. President, preparations for Sister Ray are now underway. Okay, so two haws there, remember that. <laughs> Kya ha ha, two haws again, remember that too. Anytime is fine. <laughs> Fire. funny they do it now after we, <laughs> we finish Diamond Weapon. I, I don't think he like dies, but he just like, he gets tired and then he goes back, I don't know, to underneath the sea or whatever, wherever he was. Yeah, the sister race crazy, like all these reactors have to go like max capacity or something. <laughs> and then it pumps all the energy right into the middle where the cannon is, yeah. It goes boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and then it looks like the whole place like powers down. And all the energy goes there. <laughs> it's like a portal. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff that, that Shinra does. <laughs> Oh yeah, and <laughs> that happens too. Oh wait, he's not dead yet. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot he's not dead yet. That thing in the, his chest looks more like orange, you know. Maybe after we attacked him, he got like weaker. I don't know. Which direction is it going to attack? Midgard. Marlene. Yeah, they're like orange shots of energy or something from him. <laughs> His mouth is still red though. Yeah, it's not like armor on his shoulders, it's just like, that's just what his shoulders are, I guess. Like, his structure. I don't know, it looks cool though. <laughs> Cause like that's just how he naturally is <laughs> in Gaia. Damn, it went right through weapon. I see they're after Sephiroth, the crater on the northern boundary. Yep, so it hits weapon and the barrier. 
at the North Crater. Sir, weapon's been defeated. Yep, so they got two birds with one stone, pretty much. <laughs> the barrier has disappeared. How that happened perfectly, I don't know. <laughs> Sir, a massive high density energy is heading towards Midgar. That's the operator, whoever that is. Whoa, weapons attacking. Run for your lives. Oh, those energy shots are still traveling. <laughs> Yeah, so here you can assume that Rufus dies, but <laughs> in Advent Children, from the compilation, the movie, he is alive. <laughs> what happened to Sephiroth? Northern Cave. Let's go see what happened to it. Alright, so now we can actually go to the Northern Cave, but we're still going to do some other things. Okay. Said he's level 14 now or something. Oh wait, actually, I think we have to go to the Midgar first, but... Wait, actually... Do we have to go to... North Cave first? Uh... I don't know, let me see. Wait, where is it? Oh, we still gotta go. Let me see what it says here. Yeah, okay. So we go to the northern crater first. Sephiroth's energy barrier is gone. Sid, can the airship get inside? Huh? He's my pilot, ain't he? Of course he can go anywhere. Right, sorry about that. Yo, Kate Sith, now what? Hold it. Scarlet Heidegger, what's going on? Strange, I can't reach the president. Not the president, the sister ray. Kya ha ha, what is it, Reeve? You're speaking strangely. Two ha's. <laughs> None of that matters. The reactor's output is increasing all by itself. Wait a minute, that's not wise. You must cool for three hours or it won't work. Reeve, shut off the machine. You can't do that, it's inoperable. Wait, is Reeve the operator? I don't know. Someone has switched the machine over to mainframe operation. We can't operate it from here. What about the mainframe? Who? Hey, call the mainframe. Oh, why are you giving the orders? I don't care how you do it. Yep. It's Hojo. I forgot he was the one doing all this. Ha ha ha. Just you wait, Sephiroth. Yep, Hojo's the three ha's type of person. <laughs> I'll give you all the mako you want. No, I'm just kidding. They said three ha's uh, earlier. Uh, Heidegger, I think, or Scarlet. <laughs> Hojo, stop. The cannon. No, Midgar itself is in danger. Ha ha ha. One or two Midgars. It's a small price to pay. Hojo, Hojo. Pressing a bunch of buttons here. <laughs> Show me, Sephiroth. It should be near. Ha ha ha. Go beyond the powers of science. Before your presence, science is powerless. I don't like it, but I'll comply. Just let me see it. Ha ha ha. Yo, do something, you big cat. <laughs> he waddles over there. We're sunk. Hojo's doing this on his own. Huh? I don't like this. You're busted, Reeve. Too late trying to hide it now. Can't you stop the Maka reactor? Isn't it all the reactors? We can't stop it. You're from Shinra, ain't you? So why is it impossible? <laughs> dot dot dot. We came a long way to get here. You better not double cross us now. Can't make you trust me. You damn fool, don't you understand anything I'm saying? I don't give a damn about Shinra. If you're a man, no, if you're a human being, you'll save the planet. Don't you even care? 
No way, if we shut down the reactor, all hell will break loose. Why? Can't you just shut off the valve? Yeah, it's easy to shut off the reactor's pipe valves, but the reactor made a path for the energy to escape from below. Once you open that, it will be impossible to close it until everything blasts out. And we can't try to stop the energy from gushing out. An explosion. This blast will be way stronger than when the Sector 1 reactor blew up. Damn. Forget that. The cannon. We gotta get to Midgar. That's the first thing. I stop Hojo first. Yeah, so that's what we have to do. <laughs> After you go to North Crater, then you go to Midgar. Like they said. <laughs> Looks like Cloud and the others are on their way. Stay out of the way. Ya ha ha ha. Okay, three ha's. <laughs> don't be foolish. I don't remember anyone putting you in charge. The Peace Preservation Force will do their best to beat the enemy. Because of them, I, I... That's a private matter. The president is dead. Now I'm doing things my way. Ya ha ha ha. Three ha's. Ya ha ha. Two ha's. <laughs> Heidegger, now I'm going to use the new weapon. <laughs> and then they take Reeve away. Hey, wait. Cloud, everybody, sorry. But... <laughs> but... But you'll come, won't you? I know. Hey, I'm leaving this ship in your hands. I'm heading for Midgar. Alright. Make sure you don't accidentally run into Midgar. Well, unless you want to do it immediately after all the stuff we just did with Diamond Weapon. Alright, so here we are by Midgar. Regar area. Oh wait, we should... Oops. Get in the high wind, do a little heal. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we got any new... Oh wait. The Rising Sun item. Okay, we'll check that in a second. Alright, just get a heal from here. Yep. Cool stuff. <laughs> Go back over here and then. Oops. <laughs> Level 14 limit break. That looks fun. Yo, Cloud, what you gonna do? Move it. Yeah, it's cool as playing the Sid music. <laughs> Alright, so let's check the item real quick. Oh, that's for Yuffie, long range weapon. Okay, we're in the Midgar area. Gonna save the game. We have Cloud Barret and Sid. 53, 52, 53 are the levels of our characters. Our characters. <laughs> Alright, hope you guys liked the video, thank you guys for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.